Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so I have a little cold, so don't mind. My voice is a bit different, but today we are making some bath time products, starting with three different bath bombs, or I like to call them bath scoops. And then we're gonna be making some tub tea as well. So next time you take a bath, you can have a few DIYs to try out. So let's jump right in. So let's start with the bath bombs. We're gonna be making three, coffee, clay, and aromatherapy. So the base for a bath bomb is one cup of baking soda, half of a cup of citric acid, and a half of a cup of Epsom salt. I'm going to be adding a few different things to make three distinct different bath bombs. I'm starting with two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of bentonite clay, and two tablespoons of powdered eucalyptus. So I just took dried eucalyptus, I put it in a food processor, and then I just made sure it was powder. I'm dividing the bath bomb base to each of these three. So I'm basically dividing it into thirds. I'm gonna mix each of them very well and then I'm gonna add the wet ingredients. Let's say you don't wanna add coffee or eucalyptus or the clay and you just wanna make a bath bomb as is. You can add food coloring if you want. You would just take that base and then add the wet ingredients. Once the dry ingredients are thoroughly mixed, it's time to add the wet ingredients. So for the clay mixture, I'm actually adding some tea tree oil. I'm adding about three to four drops. And then for the eucalyptus, I'm adding a little bit of peppermint and some lavender. So this is great for achy muscles. Um, and the clay and tea tree oil is kind of like a detoxifying bath. And obviously coffee is self-explanatory. I'm not really adding anything as far as essential oils to that, but that is caffeinated, so it's gonna really wake you up, and um, it's great for cellulite and things like that. Okay, so for the wet mixture, what I have here is I have some almond oil, and then I would say that's about three teaspoons of almond oil mixed with about one teaspoon of water, and you're gonna very slowly add to the dry mixture until the mixture kind of clumps together. So you, you wanna add it very slowly because you don't want it to start to fizz up. You want that to wait until it's time for the bath. So once I mix the wet ingredients, I'm going to put it in molds. My molds are half molds. I don't make full on bath bombs just because I don't have the appropriate equipment for it, but these work really perfect. And so I'm starting with the coffee and I'm gonna be able to fit all of them into that particular mold. And I made about two of each, so you can give them away as gifts or you can keep them around for whenever you're ready to use them. These need to dry overnight for at least eight to 10 hours. Then once they've had a chance to solidify, they will easily pop out of the molds. Now I do recommend using silicone molds because that makes it a lot easier to get these to pop out. So I have these little scoops. I have two of the detox, two of the aromatherapy, and two of the coffee. And again, you can give them away as gifts if you want. You can pack them up and put them in a mason jar or you can, um, put them away in some kind of like cellophane and wrap it in a really cute bow, or you can just save them and use them. And when you put them in the bath, they will immediately start to fizz and dissolve in the bath. And you can use whichever one you desire for whatever type of bath you want for that day. Next, we're gonna be making some tub teas. I'm making relaxing, soothing, and uplifting tub teas, starting with relaxing. So I get these great little sachets from Michael's, or you can get them at most stores, sell them. I have some oatmeal that has been put through the food processor, equal parts oatmeal, dried lavender, and sea salt. And then I'm gonna add a few drops of lavender essential oil. And then I'm just going to kind of shake it up a little bit. And you can put that right in the bath or directly under the water as it flows. So that's really easy for the relaxing tub tea. The next one we are going to make is a soothing tub tea, which has very similar ingredients. I have some rosemary, which I just got from my garden, but you can use dried rosemary if you'd like. 
And then again, I'm using the oatmeal that has been through the food processor, so it's very powdery. And then I'm also adding some dried chamomile. So this is gonna be a very kind of soothing and relaxing tea for the bath. And again, shaking it up, and you can stick it directly in the bath or directly under the faucet. For the uplifting, I'm adding the dried oats. And then I'm gonna be adding some green tea and um, some peppermint essential oil. So equal parts of the oats and green tea, and then about five drops of the peppermint oil. And this is an uplifting tub tea. This is also kind of like the coffee in the sense that it has a little bit of caffeine, not as much as the coffee bath bomb, but it is gonna be a little bit more of an uplifting, maybe daytime bath. So um, yeah, these are very easy to make, and they're really fun. I love tub teas. They really make uh, for a relaxing experience. And I usually stick them directly under the faucet, and then you'll notice the water starts to turn a tea color and it's like you're taking a tea bath. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you try out some of these recipes and let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Check out my last two videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.